Every great story has darkness in the plot, but spoiler alert, there's a happily ever after where he wipes all tears from off of your faces. Do you ever have a millennial quarter life crisis? <laughs> like, I don't know where my life's going. I have lost the plot. Can I tell you the Lord is a great rewriter of stories? The Bible says he's the author of our faith. In the book of Psalms, chapter 139 says he has all our days written in his book. Malachi says that when we speak words honoring his name, he hearkens. The word hearken in Hebrew is used of a dog's ears perking up when hearing the voice of his master or something that interests him. God's ears perk up and it says he writes it down in a book of remembrance, your conversation that honors him. So we have a God who's writing a book of remembrance, a God who has all your days written in his book. He is the author and finisher of our faith as imaged in Jesus. I wanna tell you this, that God is in control of your story. You're not writing this on your own. The author of your faith is, I've never thought of this before till just now, ghost writing your story, the Holy Ghost writing your story. That's good. I'm glad we're recording. And I just want to tell you, he's, he's writing your story. Uh, it, it, I like the Hunger Games. And if, here's a spoiler alert, if you haven't seen it, you're like 10 years too late, so I'm going to do a spoiler alert. But basically, Katniss ends up winning the Hunger Games and she marries Peta. Now, if she knew in the middle of the dark narrative and the dark plot that she was gonna live happily ever after, that President Snow would be defeated, the Hunger Games would be ended, and she would marry Peta, she wouldn't have worried about anything, even when things got really dark. In the same way, every great story has darkness in the plot, but spoiler alert, there's a happily ever after where he wipes all tears from off of your faces. It's interesting because the children of Israel, they were in Egypt as a baby nation. Then they passed through the Red Sea water to wander in a desert for 40 years. So Jesus, as a baby, was taken to Egypt, passes through water, the Jordan River, to wander in a wilderness for 40 days. So who's drawing these parallels? Both were taken to Egypt as children, both passed through water, both wandered in the wilderness for 40 days and 40 years, respectively. It was Matthew who writes these parallels, and he was writing to a Jewish audience. What was he saying? Israel, you've lost the plot. You've been defeated by the Egyptians, the Chaldees, the Babylonians, the Medes, the Persians, the Greeks, and now the Roman Empire is occupying your land. You've been defeated. But guess what? Jesus is retelling your whole story. <laughs> He's taking the place of Israel, rewriting your entire narrative. So just remember that you're not the only one in control of your story. I'm a big believer in amalgamating sovereignty and responsibility of genetic determinism and freedom. It's been, said that, it's been said that determinism is the hand that you've been dealt, but freedom is how you choose to play the hand you've been dealt. So I want to encourage you to remember that yes, you have a part to play in this story, but ultimately there's a cosmic author who's writing your narrative. There's a mighty plot twist coming because the Bible says, happy are those people whose God is the Lord. And so you shall live happily ever after. Ben Corson here. Thank you so much for watching my new YouTube channel. Make sure to smash that like and subscribe button, share this video with all your friends, and hit that bell so you're notified every time a new video comes out. May the hope be with you.